Hey guys, just me. Um, as you can hear and see and tell, I am not feeling good. I was getting sick. I felt like I was getting sick the other day. So <clears throat> it's kind of getting worse. And yes, I do have COVID tests here if need be that I have to test. Uh, I know there's a lot of other stuff going around. It's not always COVID. And whatever it is, being sick still stinks no matter how you look at it. So <laughs> whether it's COVID or something else, it's not fun being sick. No, my sister is sick now, so we both don't feel well. I didn't get a whole lot done today. I did get some stuff done today, a little bit of work, but I'm just, I'm feeling run down. And my throat is still, uh, it bothers me, and I have this cough it's very annoying and this headache oh uh, the headache it's just bad so like I said I know a lot of sickness is going around I have my meds here I am home with Cody it does stink that being sick on your birthday is not fun tomorrow is my birthday um, it is what it is I've been sick before it's not like I had some special big plans anyway for my birthday. It's really just another day and I'm getting older, not younger. So, but anyway, I did decide tomorrow I'm going to go live for the first time in back in my tiny house. So you see sock monkey. <laughs> so I'm going to go live tomorrow for my birthday. So you guys can come and visit me because I feel like I won't be like lonely for my birthday. I mean, I know I'm not alone, but I kind of am. I don't have my, I don't have friends here. I don't know anybody. Obviously I know my sister, but I feel like <clears throat> the people on my YouTube are my friends. So I like hanging out with you guys and I always have fun when I do my live. So I'm going to do that tomorrow and we will say, <clears throat> excuse me guys, we will say tomorrow at 7.30. 7.30, what, Eastern time? I don't know, because Tennessee, it was Eastern. I believe North Carolina here is on the same time. So we'll say 7.30 tomorrow, Saturday the 10th. And I'll come on here. I hope you guys come on and say hello and keep me company on my birthday so I don't feel lonely here. <laughs> but Anyway, I, I did get some stuff done today. I am home relaxing. I have my my um, air mattress out because it's so hot. It's just too hot to sleep in the loft right now. So I'm using that as like a, where I put my laundry to dry because it's very hot up there. It works. Cody is here, obviously. <laughs> Now, even though I am sick and not feeling good, I know he looks forward to every night we go down to Deep Creek. So I'm still going to take him for a little bit. It's five minutes to get there, five minutes to get back. Take him down there, you know, 15 minutes or so. And even though I don't really feel like it, you know, I'm still, I still have my dog to take care of. And I know he really wants to go. So I am going to take him down there after a bit. Oh my gosh, let's see if we can get out of here. I don't know if I can do that without falling. <laughs> okay, I made it. <laughs> anyway, I love having this air mattress. It is a queen size, but it's elevated. I love that. It's actually pretty comfy. But I like to have this out when I don't feel good. I just kind of want to relax. <clears throat> Excuse me, and be down here. So I can, you know, have Cody with me and it's not so hot. So I'm sorry how I sound, guys. I, I like having it. It just barely fits, too. But then I can also put that up against here when I'm not using it. Look at my cute sock monkey. I got this from my friend in Tennessee and makes me think of her. It makes me happy. So even though I'm a grown woman, I still like stuffed animals. I mean, why not? And I got that from somebody on YouTube. I still have. Look at my cute little pictures up there. The cute golden and 
I have this that my friend from Virginia had painted for me. I absolutely love it. Always love it. Got my picture. I put that over here. Got all my coffee. Luckily, I can still taste and smell as of right now. So I did make some hot coffee a little bit ago. Uh, it did wonders for my throat. Oh, I have to tell you guys, well, you can't really see, obviously, but, well, here, you can see my <laughs> my cute little cheap um, $7 shower curtain because I actually was able to take, for the first time since I moved here, about, what, nine days ago, I took a hot shower. So a guy came in, and the water heater now works. I am so thrilled for that. It still does leak down here. He said that, I don't even know what he was really talking about, but I need a little part for in there, I guess. He didn't say that it needed to be replaced or anything, just a part. Don't know how much that's going to cost, but it should hopefully be an easy fix. But looking to the positive, I do have hot water. He actually said he went outside and got under the house and there was a valve, I guess, or something he had to turn on very easy um, <clears throat> and me and my sister didn't even have any idea about that so luckily he found it took him about two minutes <laughs> so that is turned on and I was able to have a hot shower this morning oh I have to show you guys when I moved I, I thought I might forget some stuff but remember last year I think I was sick and I had COVID somebody had sent me this and I used it and I felt like it helped. So guess what I'm taking again? Hopefully it helps my cough and my chest congestion. I don't know, but I have some of that left. So just letting you guys know, I do use what you send me. Don't think that I don't. Got my cute little flower in there. So yeah, it's a hot one again today, guys. All right. Cody, are you comfy over there, bud? Yeah, you are. And as you can see, I did put up a little bit of lights. No, that's probably not. I'm going to keep it, but it just feels homey in here at night in the dark. So <laughs> it works. And I put some over here. Just kind of threw up what I had. And I got some stuff up here in storage. You can see my Halloween and fall stuff. I love decorating for that. Not quite yet. And up here, this kind of is just my... Oh, it smells so good up here. I don't have my TV working. Let's see if maybe I can get some channels. I have... It's so hot up here, it's hard to breathe. Um, I, I let my laundry dry up here because it's so hot. I haven't been able to sleep up here. Oh, if you see over here, I got that like a month ago from Timu, I think. It's supposed to like repel insects and all that stuff. So hopefully it works. I figured I, <coughs> excuse me, I put it up here because, you know, this is where I sleep when it's not so hot and I don't want to wake up, you know, with like bugs right over my head. <laughs> so I decided to put that up there. <coughs> I found these things too. I love these little things for my steps. All right, so a little update on the P.O. box. Now, two nights ago, I had tried to get a P.O. box, just the smallest one online, and it's the only place I can get it for like three months instead of six. Because six months obviously costs more, and I don't want to do it for six months because I think we're supposed to get a mailbox here. I don't know when, though. But um, I do want the P.O. box so I can have that for my YouTube so I don't have to use the home address. But I found online I could do three months. So I went ahead and did that. And it looked like it took out of my account, but two days later it's still saying pending and when I went into the post office they said it's not showing up so apparently I don't have a P.O. box yet <laughs> so I do have the one in Newport remember please that my mom is closing that in two weeks 
so you can't send anything to that anymore. Now, I do plan on going back up to Newport maybe next week. I'm not sure when because it is an hour and a half away. So I do plan to go up there and I will get if anything is up there. My mom said I did have like two packages up there. I don't know what it was from, but I will get up there. But please do not send anything to that P.O. box. I will let you know I am working on getting a P.O. box for down here. Um, I do not have it yet. I don't know what's going on with the post office and online. But as soon as I get it, I will post it in my bio for you guys. So just, we'll have to kind of wait and see. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get ready to take Cody down to Deep Creek and let him go in the water a little bit. And then I'm going to come home, relax. I'm going to take, actually, I don't take a lot of medicine, but I'm going to take some medicine tonight so I can sleep good. And hopefully tomorrow I'll wake up and feel a little bit better because I do need to try and work some tomorrow. We will see. I did kind of want to get a Dairy Queen cake, but I'm not sure of that. Because honestly, it's like 30 minutes away, and I hope it wouldn't melt on the way home. <laughs> I don't know. It's too big for my freezer, too. And they're outrageous. We had that talk before. They're a little out of control with their prices for their cakes. Let's be honest. It's not that great. Well, maybe it is. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's it. Um, just if you could wish me and my sister well, because we're not feeling good at all. I think we have the same thing. <clears throat> and I will be here tomorrow for my first ever live back in my tiny house. And I hope you guys will come say hi to me and Cody. Tomorrow, Saturday the 10th at 7.30 p.m. All right, guys, I hope you have a good night. I'm going to go relax after I take Cody. Bye, guys.